Hello everyone. Today I want to do an art journal page. I hope that's better. Um, using Art by Marlene, which is this little character right here. It comes from the Confidence Pack, a bit of a quirk. And let's see, right there is the girl. And I'm going off the flower that she's holding. Let me show you here. So, I remember I have some Dilusions flower stamps. And because it looks like she's wearing a mushroom cap, the little mushrooms on here is another Dilusions stamp set. And there is, I guess it's Doolally Doris. I don't know. But that's the stamp set right there. And there's the stamps. So what I've done is I have these little things from Dollar Tree. And I'll do a bunch of stamps. Like here's the flowers. And... I'll put them in here and when I need them, I just cut them out. And that's what I've done with that. I'm gonna use Dilutions Paint, which is lemon zest, fresh lime, and cut grass. I'm not sure if I wanna do all one color, but we'll see. And I'm gonna use the stencil that came with this stamp of this. So, let me get everything set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have no gesso on this page, so we'll see how that goes. I've got blending tools. I'm going to start out with the yellow. I think I'm just going to go the three colors, because that will give me a better range of cottage cheese doing my flowers because I want to do the flowers and some blues because she is reds so we will see so all I'm gonna do is tamp in here and mash it down to pick some up I'll get it off the sides and <clears throat> excuse me I'll just work it in there's no gesso, no nothing. This is watercolor paper. It's a watercolor art journal. Pick up the rest. Put some over here. Why not? All right. I'll add some more. Just to keep my funky paint wet all right and next we'll do fresh lime this sounds pretty good we'll see when we open it though Ooh. okay not bad a little funky but still workable and I'll add some water in this this is what keeps them workable usable and no, I don't want to use that one I use this one I'll pick some up put it down work it in come in and if I don't want any harsh lines I'll do that. Pick some more up. And then just feather it into the yellow. Put my cap back on. Cut grass. I will use that sparingly. 
because it is a darker green. And when you open them, you get these little crumbly paint bits. I don't want them in the paint. Because see, like right there, I'll top that out into my little garbage can next to me. Oh, beautiful. See, my green is gorgeous. And let's see. This one is so old. I need to throw it away. So I'll just use this. And I'll pick up a little bit and I'll put it down. And I'll work it out pretty far because I don't want too dark. And I'll come in and let me just do this. That way, as I work the screen in, it'll lighten up a little bit better. I'll come in with this other one and I just want a little bit. I know I put a lot on there, but and if I have to, I'll just keep blending colors. So I'll pick this up, put it back in there, and I'll give this a spritz. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about, the little paint bits. So what I'll do, make sure this is on right. I'll come back in with the fresh lime or the yellow or both and just keep adding to make my page what I want it. Why not? All right, where's my lime green one? Pick some of that up, come up here. And I'll just blend that in with the darker green. And just keep working it how I want it to be. And then if I want, I could add more yellow, which I will. Give this a spritz. Come in, I'll grab some more yellow. Come right here. Mash that in there, and I'll lighten up my yellows. All right, I'm liking that. Okay, let me push these to the side. Let me close my paints up. I'll dry this and we'll be right back. Now that that's dry, I'm going to come in with the stencil and use cut grass and just lightly put these in because I still have some on my pouncer here. And what I'll do is I'm going to actually just flip it over, come over on the other side, and do the same thing. Okay. And let's see. Um... What I'll do first is I'll clean some of this off. So 
so that I can come over here and I'll just soak that off because these have these tiny little pieces right here that get caught up. So I'll grab just a hint more of the green. Just a dab. I'll work it in and I'll leave it there for a second while I close this up. And I'll put this one here because I know I have a big flower going there. All right. Well, that's a mess. But that's okay. And I'll put some more here. I'll just go super light so that it's just a hint. In the background, because she's actually out in the woods. I'll bring some down just from the top like that. And that looks pretty good. All right, let me clean that off. I'll set this aside. Dry this and be right back. And this is the journal I'm using. It's a Canson 7x10 watercolor. I believe I got this from Walmart. Okay, so... I have her, which I am, I am loving this, the green background. Let me just pull you down just a little bit better. Now, I have all these that I've cut out, and I need to color them. So, what I'm going to do is grab some Dilutions inks and color these. Let me move this and her out of the way. And that's what we will do. I have some wax paper that I put these on because, yes, we're using inks. And cut them out. So put my mushrooms together. And I have two big flowers, so I've got green backgrounds. She's got the red color. I will put this closer to me so I can see what I'm doing here. I have all my inks on the side. Um, I will show you. Right there. These are all the warm ones. Those are all my cool ones. So I'll put you back. Sorry about that. And we will color these. Let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing. I also have some water brushes that I will use because um, it makes it a lot easier when working with these inks. So I will do some in light, uh, cools and some in warms. Of course, all my stems and leaves will be done in my greens and my little mushrooms will be done in stages of reds and purples. I'm using the blue because there is some, sorry about the shadow, there's some blue in her dress. So let's look here. These are more greens. Let me move those back. Let me pull my blues forward, my yellows. I'm missing one. Found 
and then I have After Midnight. All right, now this is just cardstock. This is not watercolor paper, but let's see how this goes. I will. Just put some out on the table or on my mat. I could even use um, distress inks. So I'll just move this around, pick it up, move it around. And I'll give this one a blue center. Now I'll grab a paper towel and just squeeze some water out till I can clear it from the ink. And then I'll just pick that ink up. And that was Calypso Teal. I will go with Vibrant Turquoise and see what happens. a little bit of water, make sure my brush is nice and wet, come in and pick it up, and oh wow, it's about the same color. All right, well, we already did it, so I might add something different just to the middle to darken it up a little bit. So I can go with some After Midnight, maybe. I've already got a drop that came out. I don't want it too much because that's purpley. Really dark. And let's let it just take off. And bleed out. I'll move it around. That works. All right, I'll squeeze out as much of the dark blue as I can on a paper towel until I see that it's pretty much clear. I'll come in here and pick this up because these inks stain unmercifully. Uh, let me grab some more paper towels here. <clears throat> and I think I'll just <laughs> now I have enough yellow I'll just take a little bit of drop of pink put it in the middle why not that looks cool I like that oh! and I'll spread this pink around And I'll try and pick up these other drops of pink on here. Why not? I think that looks pretty neat. Try to pick it up without making a mess. And maybe I can pick up some of this dark all right, so I'm gonna dry that one really quick. All right, this next one, I'm gonna do some pinks and oranges. Why not? Let me get this off here. And I'm just gonna dab the orange here on the side. And I'm going to go ahead and get some pink out, too. I don't want to spray it because then it's just going to be too much. All right, so we'll go pink to orange. Let me get some water moving in my brush. 
get that pink wet here. It'll come to purple when it hits the blue. And then I'll squeeze this out real quick so that I can pick up the orange and add the orange as quickly as possible through here. And I may need some more, but I just wanted to get it to where it would interact with that pink. I know not by closing that I'm asking for trouble, but it's all right. I don't have a bunch of um, of these to fill up with the inks. I don't, but one day, maybe. If I can do it this way, I'm fine with it. And if I want, I can just drop some pink in, let her inter interact with the orange, just to make a different variation, <clears throat> excuse me, on the flowers. Because we don't want, oh that looks good, I'll just continue to pick up what I have over here and put it on there. All right, now my other two little ones, I might go darker like some purple and funky fuchsia. Which one is this? Crushed grape and funky fuchsia. I'll put some of the grape down because that's going to be kind of dark. And I'll crack open the fuchsia and put that down. And we'll start with the bigger one because that one's going to be up closer to this one. So maybe I'll do this one. That's a lot. I shouldn't have done that. But you know what? It's fine. Let's go from the outside in this time. See if that makes a difference when it comes to bleeding them together. And I'll drench it out. Get some water going. That's still pink, but that's okay. And we'll go in with the purple. See if we can't get them to play nice. <coughs> Excuse me, pollen is so high right now. That's not bad. And I might add some more of this watercolor pink. To this one just to give it a little more depth. Alright, let me squeeze all the purple and pink out of this. And then clean this up. Oops. Still in? Okay. Grab another paper towel. I'll need another water brush because that one ran out on me, so I'll leave the cap. Well, no, I'm not leaving the cap off. I'll lose the cap. 
<clears throat> just grab another one that has more water in it and I'll do this one whoopsie how about what is this pomegranate and the squeezed orange let me move that over just a little bit so I can get more I don't need a whole lot this time but I'm only going to do a drop of the pomegranate because that is dark. And that's it. So, oopsie. Oh, this one's a flat. Oh, well, it's all good. I'm going to pick up the pomegranate and I'm going to go into the middle. And I might just flick that on there. All right, I'll take that off. And then I'll come in with all the orange and add it to the pomegranate. And, nope, doesn't want to flick onto anything. Well, that's great. It's fine, it's a water brush, that's probably why. And I'll grab another corner and I'll drop that back in the middle and I'll let those run. And maybe I'll take this and just put that on my mushrooms just to start off with. Why not? All right. Clean this out. And pick up some different colorage. Because I don't want to waste the ink. I want the flowers to be funky. So that looks cool. Hopefully you can see that. I can't tell if you can or not. All right, so what is this? This is post box red. So I'll use that for my mushrooms and I'll just put a dab down, close it up because I always seem to, and I'll just start at the bottom go lighter as I go up. That looks good. I'll pick this up. This time I'll go from the top to the side. And I'll just deposit some in this. There we go. Clean that up. I'll dry these and we'll see where we're at with color. Yes, I'm loving the vibrancy. Okay, so I'll move this aside. We'll go ahead and do these pieces. Get on here. With the cut grass and I'll just take another water brush. I'll get these covered in the cut grass and I'll be right back. All right, now that I've got those done, that was fun. <laughs> um, I actually put them, I, I had to put them in a box and just spray them because I needed them darker. So I will move these over so I can get rid of this and pull this back over. Now, Let's see. Oh, there it is. It says, life is a circle. The end of one journey is the beginning of the next. Like with flowers. Flowers grow, they bloom, they wilt, and then they die. But then they start all over again. So, I've got this one here. 
and I think I'll move you this way. Yep, that's good. My mushrooms, because she's wearing a little mushroom hat. This just. Alright, and let me move these two out of the way. And I actually cut one because I wanted one to go one way and one to go another. Fingers are so fiddly today. That's okay. I work with what I got. And I'll pick this one up because I wanted it to go this way. And then I'll just add a black line for that one. This big blue one. I might just bring it down just a little bit more over. And I'll put you, let's see. Yeah, I have to put you over here. And you there. And then my little mushrooms. There. I like that. So, we can move you up a little bit. Let me take this out. And start gluing. I've got just barely our precision glue. And I'll just put some really quickly on the back of the flowers. Put this one down. I'll take this out. And I'll actually just put the very tip of my tweezers on there and I'll just put some glue so that I can see where I need it to go and right there is good just throw it down and commit I'll just put that one there. And, hmm. That's kind of nice the way it turned. But then it won't. Let's see. Let's move you out of the way. Oh. I just dropped a tiny little mushroom on my floor. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I mean, if it turns out, it turns out. If it doesn't, well, it's just an art journal page. Trying to get glue on the back of these is a whole lot of fun. Alright, and I'm just going to grab it with my scissors real quick and come over here and throw it off to the side a little bit. That works. I'll put more glue on the leaf. And I'll go down here with this one. And I'll go up here with, mm, I don't want to be like right smack dab next to that one. I'll go up here. Why not? Nobody wants to lay down and be nice. <laughs> and I'll just put that one there. Grab it, put it down. Now, my mushrooms have a better spot to be in. Yeah. 
So I'll just glue them down right here. And I'll hurry up and do this one so that I can slide the corner of it underneath that. There we go. Just like that. All right. They're wanting to curl. So all I'm going to do is gently hold it and do like I would a ribbon. And bend them the other way. So what I want to do, I'll go here. And there we go. This way. That's right. And then I'll go there. <clears throat> I'll do the other flower. That way I can see where I need to go with the little sprite woodland fairy. And go this way. And do that. I like that. Why not? And then just keep gluing. I know I don't do fast videos or voiceovers. Um, sorry. I'm sure I'll learn to get better. There, just put it down. And I'll do that mushroom that way. And then I'll put her down. Oh my goodness, it's already 37 minutes. Sorry, it's a long video. Now I'll put her down there. And then just... Ooh, that would have been fun. Put this right here. And then if I wanted, I could come back. Oh, I lost the top. Oh, there it is. Come back in here. Take some of this with another water brush, pick it up, wet it, and I can just add a bottom to this so that it doesn't look like they're just standing on nothing. I can go around the edges of the flowers. I can add some. I have a white paint pen, but these are not dry enough yet, so let me dry them real quick. Okay, it's just a white Sharpie paint pen. Um, I don't know how well it'll hold. It might just turn pink, but once these are cured, um, you can come in and do your white dots. <clears throat> you can do, whoopsie, that's going to be, I'll just take this same brush, pick it up, you do white splatters.
and just dab it off of her I mean <clears throat> there's a multitude of things you can do you can add some white in there but that's our art journal page for the day using Dilusions and Art by Marlene. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. I know it was a long video, but I just try to give you ideas of a jumping off place um, for the things that you buy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.